So here we go. Here's a review of the Spider-Man Homecoming SH Figuarts figure. So this is pretty nice. The uh, packaging, simple. Uh, so I got this by mail. That's why it's all torn up, bent. Can't stand it right here. Keeps falling over. All right, but basically you have the front here, pretty nice. Uh, you have the side. Just said Spider-Man. You got the back with a bunch of little things right here. All right, so and basically you can change the eyes. Uh, just okay. Uh huh. Uh, the side is just the Spider-Man figure again. All right. Uh, the side is just that image right there of the Spider-Man figure. The top just that there. Not much to see there. Uh, and the bottom of that right there. Uh, this here, if you want to read it, uh, give me a moment. Pause now. Okay, and everything else pretty much is just unreadables. So, simple style and heroic action. Ages 15 and up, and that's all. So, if you're 15, you're not allowed to use this. Anyway, so let's get this open. So, alrighty, so. Alright. It's gonna be talking. Alright, 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 alright. Uh, so, alright, so here we go. We have all these accessories. Okay, use the Spider-Man figure out of the packaging. And, uh, well, some parts I do like more, other parts I just dislike. Oh, and by the way, this stand here doesn't really exist. I made this stand myself uh, a while ago. So... While some parts I like more, some parts I like a lot, a lot less. So let's just uh, get to the figure first and then the accessories. All right, so. All right, so one thing that irritates me is that here you can see that the hips are way too loose. That's because when you articulate it, the hips get loose. So what you have to do is you have to push it back in. So then, then it looks better again. So that's one thing that irritates me, but... Uh, now let's just get to the figures, look at the detail here. Oh okay. Alright, so you can see this is with the squinty eyes. Um, I'll show you with the other eyes later, but uh, when we get to the accessories. Alright, so generally the detail is reasonably good. Uh, they have texture throughout. With all the lines and the webs being shiny and all that, which is nice. I gotta say, there's a lot of uh, articulation. I've been playing with this for a little while, that's why I just. But uh, one thing I really do like with this is that, unlike other figures, this one, when you bend, the line still comes out with it, with the texture, unlike some other figures. So uh, that's that's one good thing about it, uh, but other things irritate me as well. Like for example, here, oh, it's not painted there at all. That area over there, there's no blue, just red. It's just not make me happy. Uh, anyway, another thing that I don't like is this. All right, so I've been picking at this for an eternity. So there's, I may have said earlier in the video, there's a backpack with a peg place for it and here there's supposed to be a peg hole you're supposed to dig in here with your nail and pop this out but guess what something must have happened must have glued in or something like that these scratches you see is from me trying to do open it with a screwdriver and with a knife so it just doesn't open I've been trying and trying and trying so what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably just going to I'll, I'll show you later, but I'm just going to take that peg place out. Not this, but the other one, the backpack. But, uh, so that's one thing that really, really, really frustrates me. But, um, give me, give me, give me a moment. Uh, Alright. But, uh, all in all, this figure is reasonably good. Um, I wouldn't say... I would rather get like many, there are many other figures I'd rather get. It's better than Legend Series, Spider-Man Homecoming. I haven't, I don't have it for myself, 
but I've seen other people with it, and I just doesn't look. This looks better than that. Um, but of course, I'd rather have like a Mezco or the or a Hot Toys. Obviously, a Hot Toys. Hot Toys is obviously going to be the best. It's just very expensive. I'm not gonna, never gonna be able to get that figure or, or Mezco. But uh, uh, yes. Yeah, so this is a reasonably good figure. I. <laughs> Yeah, so I think I'm the next. I think the next Spidey I'm gonna get is probably going to be a uh, Diamond Select. I, I'm not really much for um, SH Figure Arts right here. I, this is not that good. I think I'm gonna stick with stick to Legend Series and and uh, Diamond Select. So, all right. So this is reasonably good. So now let's go to the articulation. The head goes completely around. Uh, just the head itself can go up that far, go down that far, with the neck and the head goes up that far, which is to say almost none goes down that far. Um, the there's somewhat of a butterfly here, a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit. Then here we have this. All right, uh, we have articulation here. Give me a moment. Just try to. There and this is another thing that really, really bothers me. You can see that there is an enormous gap, and on top of that, the stick for the hand and the hand do not match. It doesn't go in all the way. This is another thing that really bothers me. And this is even more. Look at that. It's just enormous. The gap. Uh, tried messing with it, but. I almost lost so this. These web shooters are separate, and I almost lost this web shooter in the process of trying to cover it up with the. Uh, yes, yeah, so that just. Anyway, so we got that. We have, uh, so here are the hips. Actually, wait. Let me do this first. Here, sorry, sorry. Uh, here, this goes like that. And that. Uh, this goes all the way around here. Does not go up at all. Goes down a tiny bit. Uh, this goes down, this goes up, goes all the way around. Does go to the side a bit, just this part there. This one goes up, not at all, goes down a lot, right before it's about to come out. Uh, it goes to the side, this one does not, but it does turn. And with this piece here, does not allow much turning, but I think it's it should be able to turn all the way if this piece wasn't here. Uh, anyway, so we also get excellent. Um, this is this excellent this articulation here. I really like that, and I like. I have to admit, I do like how they. Give me a minute. It's way too bright. Uh, okay, I do like how they kept the texture here. They try to cover that up. I do like that. Uh, and this goes, oof, way too bright, uh, this goes in front, like, uh, wait, give me a moment, I'm sorry, uh, alright, this goes in front like so, uh, and if I move this little, little plastic piece right here, see how it's starting to get loose again, anyway, I can get it all the way, his leg kicking up all the way till there. Uh, yeah, and you can go back all the way till there. This does not look kind of odd. Uh, here I thought this would be an articulation to go around, but it's not. It doesn't move. Uh, this, as I said, goes all the way to here with this nice texture here staying there. Um, the ankle's good, yet they do make a little bit of noise, as you can hear. There's great toe articulation right here. Um, this goes in front like that. Okay, so here are all the accessories. We have uh, these hands. We have fisted hands. We have web grabbing hands. We have phone holding hands. We have relaxed hands. We have um, wall crawling hands. And we have swipping hands. We also get this phone here for the phone grabbing hands. Which I'm going to show in detail in a moment. Uh, so you can see that it has that a line ac around it there for the screen. 
he also gets, uh, so for the, I'm just going to show you for the relaxed hands, but, uh, they all have this here, see that right there, it has, uh, the, uh, the, uh, this, the trigger right there, right there, right there, okay, so, that's nice, and then, uh, you have the backpack, which I actually can't use until I fix it, because I told you about the peg not working properly, so I need to cut that out. Um, we also get these webs, not terribly detailed, but, you know, the general. Uh, we also get this one, which is a slipping web, with this little peg hole right there. And we get another one, which is the same thing, this is also for a stand, which we can't use. Because, that again, as I said, the peg thing is broken, so... Alright, so, those are the accessories. I'm just going to show in detail a little bit of this. The backpack. Uh, before we move on. Yes, yeah, so... Alright, yeah, so... Those are the accessories. So these are just a few last words, uh, so... I don't... So, the, the figure is, has a, has pretty good articulation, you know... But, on the other hand, it's the aesthetics aren't great. The peg, I'm, I'm really mad about that. Uh, the webs don't really look very good on him. I mean, I've, I'm recently doing some of my custom... Uh, I'm making some of my own accessories, like for my Spider-Man Far From Home figure. And this, this isn't that good. The webs on this are just not that good. So, that's not good either. The disc, I hate that little gap between the hand and the wrist. That bothers me. The eyes are just too tiny. The figure itself is just way too small. So for the price being between 30 and $40, I give it a rating of... I just don't like it. I just expected so much more from it. So that's why I give it that rating for the price and what it turned out being. It's... Just, and the eyes don't even come off the way they're supposed to. It's just not... It just it just turned out not being as good as I, it should have been. So, uh, anyway, but uh, if you like it, and tell me if I'm the only one that has the problem with the peg thing. If, if it's just me, please tell me. If it's just me with the eyes, if I just have bad luck, just tell me, please. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe.